Oh, right. History was just made today. Historia. We got our first male sure. Well, technically, like, um, male Carl in the main team. We did have Cure Infinity and Hagato, so he's technically the official first male cure. But we got our official male cure in the main team, and he's also a bird mascot, too. There is just a lot I could say about this episode, because I think I just, like, found, like, my favorite Hero Guards Guy episode of all time right now. Hopefully I did. Well, one of them, maybe. This episode was just a blast. And so it, like, um, began off where we were last time. Tabasa tries to fly, but he could not, and he fell down to the ground. But still, he did not give up, so he just rolled to town instead. And Sky and Prism had to deal with Kapiton and his UFO Rambor, but they couldn't reach him because he kept on going up too high for them to even get to him. And he shot a beam at them, which knocked them down. And this attracted Ellie to go to them because she was flying towards them, worried about them. And it, and so Tabasa had came to, when this was going on, and Capitan noticed her, which was, oh god, this is gonna be bad. But, like, in this, like, moments, like, uh, Tabasa says, I'm gonna protect you, but he also questions, saying, like, wait, what the heck am I doing? You're saving the princess, that's what you're doing, and you're gonna do fine. But, like, Kabaton's just, like, saying, Oh, you know, you're just a little side character and everything like that. Oh, you've been calling them side characters? Well, you're gonna be seeing something that's gonna be me making history, Kabaton. You gotta deal with a milk here. Well, later, but still, you're going to have to deal with them. And so, like, um, Ellie gets captured by Kabaton, and it just, like, was, like, a wild goose chase and everything like that, because, like, um, Tubasa also got captured, too. But he almost, like, he almost, like, falls from the UFO when Kabaton, like, um, took Ellie and just, like, dropped him because he's, like, saying, like, pretty, you're from the Pretty Bird Shop, oh, you can't fly, blah, 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 blah. But, like, um, Tubasa luckily had the swing, was, dive, was able to fly up there, and then he stuck back on and to get ba and get Ellie back while Kapitan was distracted. And they had to get away, and he, like, literally, like, when it came to that scene where, like, he was falling, I was, like, saying, no! But no, Ellie caught him, and I'm just, like, I'm just on, like, I'm rambling at this point, but yeah, I was just, like, so surprised and shocked with this episode, because, like, it was, like, oh my gosh. But with all this happening, and Ellie almost getting, like, captured by Capitone again, he be he'd made this decision he's gonna become Ellie's knight. And that, like, let him become a pretty cure, and became Cure Wing. The Wings of Courage. Cure Wing. That was so great. I loved the transformation secrets and everything. He just, like, making me think of Anjamada Shun and, or, like, just, like, the Saint say characters in general here. With, like, saying night and everything. And then, like, the hairstyle. Now I'm seeing it. Like, I know that's, like, a kind of, like, a reference to, like, Yo-Yo has the same hairstyle to that. But still, like, when looking at his hairstyle, it just makes me think of, like, um, Sailor Starfighter and the Starlight in general. Like, that, j just, like, that awesome ponytail. So beautiful. And he was able to fly, too. Which is, his dream was to fly, and he got to fly and save Ellie. And, oh... Flying! He's flying! He's flying, guys! He's flying! Like, honestly, I have nothing bad to say about this episode, but it's still... It was just, like, Asia was just good in general, and so they were able to save Ellie, and then the, they defeated the Ramborg and Kapaton. Although, like, if I had to really say one thing that I really don't like about, um, Hero God Sky so far, the attacks... After training is a good attack, but it's just like, I don't know how to put this, like, the, um, where, f single finisher attacks just, like, it's not a little bit planned to me. I don't know why. Like, just being punch, shot, attack. You may hear me sizzling in the background. I'm not a pig. Capitan did not make me make this video, okay? I'm telling you. But that's just, like, me with, like, when it comes to attacks, like, the names, things, it's just, like, it sounds, like, a little bit too basic, like, Tropical Weech Pretty Care had some good attack names, too, like, um, Otento the Summer Strike, and Pump Pump Papaya Shock. 
Like, I liked those names a lot, and, um, it's just, like, me saying that, but anyhow, this was a good episode in its own right. In its own right. And I just can't wait for, like, Wings, like, to, like, be joined in a group attack with them, and all that stuff, and then we get Clear Butterfly soon, whenever that comes, and we, and, like, Agiha did, like, Oh, yeah, Agia was in this episode, I forgot. Like, she did her good part, like, she came up with the idea of, like, um, doing, like, high jumps and everything, even though it was, like, failing, but... And she got, like, upset that it was failing and that she was getting the, um, Sky and Prism hurt. But no, they were, like, saying, like, no, you're doing... You're doing your job and, like, something like that on the lines. That we just have to keep on trying harder. And then... And that gave her, like, some kind of, like, um, appreciation that she... That her, like, plan was... Even though it's not really working at, like, the time, but it's just, like, it's just, like, you have to take time until it works. And I guess that's all I can really say about the episode. It was great, and I loved it so much. Cure Wing, Pretty Andromeda Shun, Saint Seiya in general, and, like, Heaps Become a Knight, Aveli. Sailor Starfighter approved. Anyways, that's it for this um, review, and I'll see you next time in episode 10. If I get there, let's see what happens. Bye.